Thank you very much. My name is Franz. Franz Kolike. I think for me, perhaps, the question or the issue that I want is you to, in a way, to react on. And this is also one of the issues that I consider. It's quite central. It's making around uh, terms of <coughs> the seriousness, the issue of land and housing in Namibia. And I'm saying this because I also have a recollection. I had a discussion twice with the late uh, Dr. Shiriake on this question. And I was engaging him since he was Secretary of Rika, Rika Jayas of Swako, before independence and social independence. So the, our discussion was how did we end up with chapter, chapter 3? And that also, maybe you can also bring in the, the question of the deliberation or the spirit of this Western conduct by their influence in chapter 3, especially the property aspect and the land. That section, it's like, it's Either way, one can say you can celebrate that, that section. On the other side, you can also maybe put your hand down because of that same chapter in terms of what it offers, prospect that it offers to the future Namibia. And the future Namibia that I'm talking about, yesterday I was responding to the Minister of Justice, they organized a discussion around housing because they are acting out of the situation. When the bank, uh, maybe if you own the bank, maybe you give up maybe 200,000, the bank can easily take your house that you've been paying for so long, auction, and they give it out. So there were a lot of people giving, this. I think five of them who were present who lost their property or their house because of that. And that was also what really provoked the Minister of Justice to find a way how best saved our people because at the moment financial institutions are in charge. When you want to buy a house, they are the one who bought you. And if for whatever reason we are coming from COVID, just see the impact of COVID, a lot of people also know they don't have resources to finance those mortgages and things like that. So for my pen maybe it's really a question of and maybe also your experience being in countries to pick up so much experience how best we handle this situation of housing crisis in the country. Because really this is for me, I feel like one of the things that even at the party level, what kind of bring the party in a way of in a weaker position. Because that constitution does not deliver a solution to the society. So I think maybe that's something that I thank you.